Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's episode is a food guide to Hanoi. There was so much good food there and I'm really excited to show you guys some of the places we went to. If you're new here, my name is Camilla and I make travel videos here on YouTube. I have several videos from Mexico, Thailand, Philippines and Cambodia. Make sure to subscribe below in the right corner and let's jump in today's video. The first place we went to was called the Veg. Good morning, it's our first day here in Vietnam and we chose to have our breakfast at this vegan vegetarian place and we just had some amazing tropical smoothies, really really good with soy milk and I ordered tomato soup, salad and some zucchini thing, I'm not even sure what it is, it was the waiter that recommended it. This place is called the Veg and they actually have like I saw they have three other vegan places around here, I'm gonna check them out as well. But right now I'm starving, I haven't eaten since yesterday, so let's eat! This place was really good, the food was super fresh and had good prices. I paid $2 for the tomato soup and around $3-$4 for the main dish. The service was also great. Number 2 was Udam Chai. This was by far my favorite restaurant in all of Hanoi. The ambience here is amazing, the decor, food and service is also phenomenal. It's local cuisine and the whole menu is vegan. We are here at Yu Dong Che. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but it's supposed to be one of the best vegetarian restaurants in all of Hanoi. And all of the dishes on the menu, it was kind of affordable. Like these were like 95,000, I think 100,000. I'll link down below what that is in dollars. But this is like pine nut spring, a pine nut cabbage rolls, and fried rice with pecan nuts. And we have spring rolls coming, and what more do we have? Oh yeah, I have some steamed tofu with tomato sauce on it, and we have some incredibly good looking mojito drinks. Oh, I think it's coming over there. Let me show you if it's coming. Okay, so we just got the spring rolls. They're supposed to have a lot of mushroom in them. This is the tomato tofu. And these mojitos are probably the best mojitos I've ever had in my life. Okay, one more time. W U Dam. Okay, U Dam. U. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te coupe plow. U Dam. D A M. Okay, okay, I'm gonna practice. It was really, really good. Thank you guys so much. See you. See you. See you. I honestly can't recommend this place enough. I think I can go as far as saying this is one of the best vegan restaurants I've ever been to in the whole world. I mean, look at these mojitos and the food was just so tasty. I can't wait to go back there. So we just had an amazing, amazing dinner at the vegan restaurant I showed you. So now we're gonna go to the night market and see what they have. We're gonna really look for some good things to buy. Number three is fresh sushi. So I'm here yeah, at I'm fresh much. sushi. <laughs> fresh sushi. And it's right outside the old town. And I always go here to get my edamame fix. And I also read online they have really, really good sushi. But I don't have time to eat sushi right now. So I'm just gonna take it a moment to go and we're gonna continue on doing whatever we need to do today. I literally had edamame from here almost every day and it was great. Hanoi is famous for their street food culture, so number four is simply to explore all the endless options everywhere. 
The traditional Vietnamese street food is of course meat-based, but if you look around, you will find some vegan options too. We walked around for a while and stopped here. I have no idea what this place was called, but they had tons of vegan smoothies and juices. So I'm sitting here with all the locals and I just ordered a smoothie. This is avocado, mango, avocado, mango, and orange. It was actually really good. But it's really funny to see how the culture is. It's like everyone is sitting on these small little like tiny tiny chairs in plastic and they're all eating us everywhere and they're just throwing it on the floor and I guess that's how it is. And yeah. that everyone is eating together. People in suits, girls in their pajamas, young, old, everyone. It's such a vibrant experience. Now it's 2.30 and now we're gonna go and grab some breakfast, starving, and then we're gonna try to plan if we're gonna go to Halong Bay or Sapa or what we're gonna do. So yeah. Number five is called V Sandwich. This place is located in the old quarter and I'm pretty sure it's a family business. Okay, so we are here uh, at V spot or V sandwich? What was it called? V sandwich. Okay, it's called V sandwich, and it's because they have vegan sandwiches here. And I just ordered the vegan spring rolls, and Charlotte got garlic bread, and another I don't know what it is. And I ordered vegan fried rice with vegetables. They were really cute. They let me taste. They made one spring roll for me first, so I could taste it and see if I like it, and I liked it. So then they made more for me. So now I'm gonna eat it before I get cool. The service here was great and the food was pretty cheap. The vegan menu was a bit confusing, but after asking a few questions, we understood each other. Overall, good food. vegan restaurant here in Hanoi. Again, I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly or not. This restaurant, every time we've been walking by, it's always full. Right now it's not full, they're about to close. But it's really, really cute. And you can sit downstairs, you can sit upstairs, and I think they even have a third floor. But we actually haven't been there yet because it's our last day here in Hanoi, so we don't have time to do it. But they are supposed to be one of the best ones in Hanoi, so I really just wanted to recommend it. If you're a vegan traveler, you should definitely hit this up. It's Vietnamese cuisine, it's Vietnamese cuisine, Vietnamese cuisine, and yeah, check it out if you want some vegan Vietnamese food. If you're craving something familiar, you can always visit Starbucks. <laughs> So Charlotte is very happy right now because she just found a Starbucks and she have not had Starbucks in how long? Oh wow, almost a month. Thank you. Almost a month? Serious? Yeah. No, three weeks. Okay, three weeks. Luckily we found one. The last day we needed. And they made everything look like Christmas. Do you have six thousand now? Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, yes. How many Starbucks are there? Uh, about um, almost 20 stores. Really? Yeah. And this is the first time we see it. Yeah. <laughs> I only have two on a ten, so. Just perfect. Me too. <laughs> Charlotte was very happy with her frappuccino. Hi. I wanted to include two restaurants from Kat Ba Island as well. Because chances are, if you're in Hanoi, you might visit Katpa Island too. The 
the first place Charlotte and I went to was called Buddha Belly. So the audio on this clip was broken, but I'm basically saying that it's not too many vegan friendly places in Kappa Island, but this place had plenty of vegetarian options and they said they could make a lot of it vegan. It was pretty calm when we were there, I guess because it was off season, but they made an okay fried rice and an okay mango shake. I put tons of soy sauce on it and then it was better. The inside of the restaurant was really charming. On our way out we met a really cute puppy, we cuddled with him for a while and then we headed back home. The second place I wanted to mention was Yummy Too. This place has great reviews online and the service was really good even though the place was packed. So we're here at Yummy and this is their menu. And they can basically make everything vegan. It was incredibly cheap here and we had a lot of food. Fries, a soup, curry, pad thai and sodas. We paid around $8 for all of that together. Number 10 and the last place is just something I wanted to quickly include if you're thinking about going on the boat tour. I just wanted to reassure you that they did actually have vegan options on the boat so I was very happy with my pod thai, peanuts and fruit. There you have it guys, my top 10 places to eat good food in Hanoi, Vietnam. Let me know if you've been to any of these places or if there are any other places we should check out. I can't say it enough, I love Hanoi so much and I can't wait to go back. Please subscribe, like and comment if you liked today's video and I hope all of you are staying safe during this time. See you guys in my next video, bye!